Hey Tamoka, this is Diego again. This is chirps. I put this. So this is chirps, and uh, for decade 22 to 20, 2020, and the stations are those stations for decade 22. The legend is the same for both. I have tried all these different mix of uh, uh, maximum uh, effective distance at source radius to come up to a number, a combination that would make it um, work. So take a look at this. This is chirps. This is the source radius of 250 and maximum effective distance 50, power 2. When we use a large search radius, we replicate the problem that all this started with a few weeks ago. That means that when we have a large search radius, those areas where we don't have stations, we get something different than the original input grid. That is the main finding right here. What happens is that the the interpolation includes all the stations that are in the in the search radius. That is where the problem is. So even though these stations are far away, they get included in interpolating this pixel right here, and um, and that's what happens. Uh, we get the wrong values. So when I started decreasing the source radius, uh, this is a source radius of 50 then those areas where there are no stations then now we get chirps back but then we get the this uh, circle that is too dramatic what I did is I increased the search radius to 80 and this is a, a suggestion that Greg Husak made increase the search radius to 80 and keep the maximum effective distance to 50 then this is getting much better areas where there are no stations they fall back into the original grid areas where there are stations then they modify the chirps in this case the, the grid the input grid is chirps it seems like this 80, 50 is more uh, accurate. This is 50, 50, 50 source radius, 50 maximum effective distance, and um, and then we see these circles very clear. It seems like 80, 50 is the number. Please let me know what you think about this.